Tropical Storm Gordon made landfall on Tuesday night near the Mississippi-Alabama border bringing loads of rain and gusty winds to the northern Gulf Coast. While there was virtually no impact in Texas from Gordon, we remain in a rainy pattern that will persist for the foreseeable future thanks to the influence of low pressure and plenty of tropical moisture from the Gulf. Much of southeast Texas has seen plenty of rain over the past few days. The beginning of September has been a wet one. On the plus side, temperatures have remained fairly cool for early September with highs barely reaching the 90s if at all. The trend of cooler than average temperatures mixed with plenty of precipitation should continue. Thursday will be much like Wednesday with highs in the lower 90s and lots of clouds mixed with the occasional ray of sunshine. Afternoon showers and thunderstorms ought to be plentiful, though with no significant accumulations. Friday should follow a similar pattern, though there might be greater cloud cover tamping down temps just a bit. The same will be true of Saturday, the rain both Saturday and Sunday should become a bit more widespread. It's not looking like a picture-perfect autumn weekend unless you're a big fan of the rainforest in September. Watching the tropics safe during a mostly quiet summer, the Atlantic has exploded with activity. Hurricane Florence, now a major hurricane, has defied the odds, battling off wind shear and cooler ocean temperatures to confound the experts and blow up into quite the potent little storm. While it poses no threat to land for more than a week, forecast models are having a very tough time figuring out if it will spin harmlessly out to sea or threaten the east coast sometime late next week. We are unlikely to know for sure until probably Monday. Behind Florence are a pair of invests from the National Hurricane Center, both of which appear to be ripe for naming. Elena and Isaac would be next on the list. The closest one to Florence has a shot at tracking into the Caribbean next week, but, like Florence, forecast models are uncertain. The only suggested threat in the Gulf is a potential disturbance suggested in the American forecast model in about 10 days. But, it is so far out at this point, there is nothing definitive to report and certainly nothing to be overly worried about.